So we put two courses out here. They are both in pre-sale. So we do uh, recommend taking the as the wallets first and then getting into DeFi. So the wallets and secure storage uh, is super important. It might not always be the most exciting, but you can make all the profits in the world in crypto. If someone enters your wallets and drains them, it's not going to do you any good. So uh, this is in pre-sale. We definitely recommend picking that up before the DeFi course. But even though it is in uh, pre-sale, we have a lot of content. So like you were saying, uh, this is always going to be up to date. So this is just the beginning. We do dive through the difference between hardware, software, and web wallets. So for those that are familiar with DeFi, typically web wallets are the go-to. But uh, we're seeing a lot of issues, just like with Solana here this last week. There was 8,000 estimated up to 10,000 wallets compromised here. So that's where the hardware, cold storage wallets come in handy. You know, Ledger, Trezor, there's a few others that come out. And then making sure that you're on the right network. So there are a lot of different networks. They're not all interchangeable. If you've ever sent uh, cryptocurrency, you know, Ethereum to a Lightning network or Litecoin network, you know, for from personal experience that it doesn't show up and it's gone forever. So we want to help you avoid those mistakes. That seems silly, but it happens to all of us. I've definitely done it myself. Like Nico was saying, paying school fees, right? Little <laughs> minor mistakes can definitely. really have a devastating effect on your portfolio balance. So we get through different networks. Again, this is just the beginning. And then uh, through cold storage, into different wallets that you can use, uh, Phantom of Solana, BTC, uh, hot wallets, as well as getting into MetaMask, our number one favorite. So this will get you set up uh, desktop, mobile, or uh, cold storage wallets as well, and then getting into the different wallets, different networks, and how to maximize the use of these wallets so that you're not uh, setting up 20, 30 different wallets for every single network and coin out there. So we are adding more and more as these go. Uh, DeFi and the wallets are very, I wouldn't say new, but evolving very quickly. So you're always on the bleeding edge working with us, making sure that you can live on the cutting edge. And then we get into DeFi. So that is, if you're familiar with Tap Token, how we first started out. Uh, you're able to access these networks and utilize the decentralized web or decentralized networks so that you can get access to these tokens, these coins, long before they hit the major exchanges like Binance and Coupon. So we do take you through. Again, these are free sale, but there is a lot of content already available. So uh, key pillars of DeFi, what is DeFi, and then getting started right. So we want to make sure you're set up for success. Just like building a house, you start with the foundation before you start putting on the roof, right? So um, we want to touch on crypto wallets, obviously, for the first part being the foundation and then getting through to networks. So we've got all of the most popular networks from XMR, Rune, FTM, through to Ethereum, and then move on to uh it's a little bit out of order here so getting into the protocols how to utilize these coins these protocols these technologies to your advantage make sure you're getting ahead of the curve and getting into these projects before they become mainstream right that's where a lot of the money is made and you want to make sure that you're set up for success for the long term as well you know there's an estimated seven million bitcoin that's lost forever because people loaded them on these wallets using computers or whatever back in the day and then lost the computer or lost their private keys so it's getting much more complex as we grow and we want to make sure that you're able to navigate effectively and make the most out of everything that is available at your fingertips so getting into staking and different strategies as well you know it's not just vote buy and hold which is my personal favorite but then you can get a little bit more advanced and take advantage of some of the staking farming that is available too. Of course, we always preach proper risk management. So again, you know, it's not going to do you any good to make a bunch of profits if you just give them back to the markets or someone drains your wallets, right? So there is a lot more to factor in. You know, it's uh, marketing can be a little deceptive from some of these protocols and we want to make sure that you are you are set up for success long term so again pre-sale get in on the bundles make sure that you're getting the most out of what's available at your fingertips and then uh, yeah we could grow from there 
So that is it for these essentials courses. But again, they are pre-sale and we'll be adding more and more content as DeFi continues to grow. It is the future, the biggest thing, you know, myself, even I have a hard time passing KYC for some of these exchanges, Binance, you know, it's an ongoing process where DeFi eliminates that. Web3 is the future and then NFTs. I saw a video here the other day. A guy is renting vehicles out using NFTs for ownership. So if you have the, the NFT, then you can get into the car. So, you know, it's uh, getting pretty cool here. But yeah, that's it for me, Marius or uh, Nico. Yeah, thanks, Corey. To you. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, yes, guys, as you can see, you know, knowledge is power. And we give you knowledge at one place. Just go there. All the knowledge is one place. It's all you need. 